Hello everyone and welcome. I just wanted to do a quick, well first a quick introduction to this beautiful lady who's finally mature and hardened up and looks beautiful. This was the sub-adult that was in pre-molt. I'll say a little Dr. Seuss there. Um, anyway, so this is this lady and we also wanted to show you our project we're working on. Ripley wanted to. Ripper dip! We can show them the project? Okay, so here we are. The mobile bug zoo is the plan. Um, it's on the GoFundMe right now. We are working with the idea of taking a bike trailer that's mobile either with uh, handles or on a bike and is also small enough to be put in a bigger trailer to be transported further away. And then once in place, we're going to have a section that falls down onto it. Let's put that, oh, that's easy. We're going to put falls down onto the trailer and then has different enclosures as well as different displays. We can do some of the resin art. And then another piece that locks these in so that people can come up and get a real close look at a lot of amazing animals. Um, and they can do their ambassadorship, which is the whole point of this thing. So letting people get a face-to-face one-on-one with the insects, I'm hoping to standardize the sizes and also have them so that this enclosure when not in use is where the animal lives for the tarantulas so that the tarantulas can really show off how they build their area which is a big uh, neat thing about tarantula ownership as well as having um, these ones can go up sideways so that larger longer species like large mantises can also be displayed um, and then this whole background will be plywood where like I said it's shaped so that these can slide in onto a ledge from the back and be viewed close up from the front without being removed and hopefully have two sides so there's going to be a back side and a front side. It can start with just a front side to begin with. I really like the idea of it being modular so that we can uh, let it grow and then also I, I'd love to do a school bus or something like this but this first project will be no motor or anything else super mechanical that can't be fixed. So that's the plan. So we're doing a arthropod ambassadors insect zoo, mobile, educational, um, I'm hoping to have scavenger hunts and art, art activities for children. Uh, during the current issues that we're developing this in, I was hoping to just have the display case and be able to throw a shower curtain over front. I wanted to build some of the enclosures, but currently uh, acrylics are a little rare. Whoop, got off the top. So there we go. Um, thank you everyone who's donated so far. Portland Insectarium is also someone I want to share this with, and they had a great donation. Uh, Jesse Green from Shapes in Nature, thank you. Valentina, uh, she does some really amazing art with uh, miniature er, miniature setups with the animals, and so you can see like a tarantula barbecuing crickets, really cute stuff. Here, I'm stoked to bring it to the public. Um, was gonna do nonprofit at different markets around town and also in Portland for free to people walk by so no no admission fee it's not an enclosed space where you can stop people at the door and like that just come over and look at the bugs so anyway thank you so much um, they thank you so much I, like I said the whole point is to bring people closer to these animals one-on-one -on -one. they really represent themselves um, yeah I'll stop battling again check out the GoFundMe and I'm on Instagram and on YouTube and thanks again from the arthropods and uh, don't forget to Please, the algorithm, like and subscribe. She thinks that I was dirty, so she has to clean herself off.